Hello Thrive, this is Christina. Today we're going to make a cute fluffy little bunny using cotton balls. This is an easy little project and once you make one you can make a whole family if you want. So to get started we're just going to take our cotton balls and we're going to kind of divide them into the different body parts that we're going to put together. So we're going to start with the head and you're probably going to get about maybe three or four cotton balls and kind of knead them together. You can fluff up your cotton balls, kind of pull them apart, and then kind of squish them back together so that they stay together. And then you're going to make your body. So when you're looking at the head and the body, you look and you think about a real bunny, the head is about three times as, as small, smaller than the body. So the body is three times as big as your head will be, which means you're going to need about three times as much. So you're going to have your head, you're going to have a bigger bunch and ball for the body. You're going to have, you're going to make an oval. So if you take just one cotton ball and you take off about maybe a quarter of it, and then you stretch it out a little bit, think about the back leg of a bunny. It's bigger, it's longer. So that's what that's going to be. And then we're gonna have our front leg. It's not going to be as big as <clears throat> the back leg. And then, of course, you're going to have a fluffy little tail. And then in your kit, you should also have googly eyes or beads, a pink pom-pom, and white construction paper. You're going to need a pink pen um, or pencil. You're going to need your scissors and you're going to need either a hot glue gun or a glue stick. A glue gun is going to work a little bit better keeping your bunny together. Okay, so to get started, we're going to start with the head. We're going to make sure that it's all together and fluffy in the shape that you want. Remember, you can pull your cotton balls apart a little bit and make sure they go back in. <clears throat> then we're gonna go with the ears. So our ears, we're going to take your white construction paper. If you fold it in half and then you draw a long oval, you only have to make one cut and when you're done, you're going to have two ears exactly the same size and same shape. So I've already, I drew mine and then I cut it. And this is what I have. So here are my ears. Inside, if you think of a real white bunny, their skin is pink. And inside their ears, they really don't have very much fur. So you can see their white, their white fur around it and then their pink skin inside where there is no fur. So go ahead and color that pink. Then we're going to put it on your head. So kind of make your, you can play around with the best position of how you want your little head to look. So I'm going to glue mine on just like that. Put glue on here. And put it on here. Hold it for a second. Let it dry. Remember, if you're using a hot glue gun, don't burn yourself. Make sure you're not touching the tip of your hot glue gun and make sure that you're not touching the actual glue. It dries pretty fast and cools down pretty fast, but you don't want to touch it while it is doing that. All right, I'm gonna do my second year. <clears throat> and I'm gonna see, I think right there. If you were in my self-directed class, 
with Thrive last year and the year before. Um, you will probably remember that I brought in a couple Holland Lot bunnies and their ears didn't stick up like this. They went down. But this little guy's going to have ears that stick up. All right, so we have the head. Now we're going to work on the body. So remember that the body is going to be about three times the size of the head. So you're going to put uh, probably about four or five cotton balls together. And you're going to want to pull them apart to fluff them up and get them to kind of stay together instead of being individual cotton balls. And then if you take your hands and you kind of knead it, you make slime. This is how we knead slime. So most of you are pretty good at this. You'll make your cotton balls stay. And we're going to put the little head on. Find a good spot. You can kind of play around with how it naturally shaped where to put the head. All right. You want to make sure this has time to dry. If it doesn't, it might fall apart. I'm just going to hold this here for a second. All right. Now, we're gonna have a little leg come out. Maybe a little too big. You can play around with the size and how how big you want it. So I'm gonna take off a little more cotton. If the bunny is sitting like this, you're not really gonna see this back leg. So I'm just gonna do one little leg kind of under here. And I'm gonna put my glue on. back leg and then your front leg is going to be even smaller so you're going to want to put your little front leg on and you could do two back legs actually I think I'm going to So if you're going to do two back legs, just kind of make them even. Another glue stick. There we go. Put the other back leg on. Remember the reason Thumper was called Thumper is because he would thump with his big back foot. And all bunnies have these nice long back legs to help them hop super fast when they need to. And if they thump, they're warning the other bunnies. So it's used for both. All right, now we can't forget our fluffy little bunny tail. Something that bunnies are known for. Peter Cotton Tail. Little fluffy tail. And so do other bunnies. All right, I'm going to put my little tail right there. And you can shape it the way you want. Just make sure that it kind of sticks out and is fluffier. All right, I'm going to make a blue eyed white bunny. They also have red eyed white bunnies, which is also an albino. But when I raised a bunnies, I really like the blue eyed whites. They're about as special as the red eyed whites and the albinos. So there's a little eye. And white bunnies usually have little pink noses. So 
we're gonna put a little nose right there. make a whole family of bunnies once you've made one. You can make little tiny ones for the babies which are called kits when they're first born. Your little baby bunnies are called kits. All right so here's my little fluffy bunny. Little fluffy tail. Little blue eyes, pink nose, long ears. That's how we make a fluffy bunny out of cotton. All right, Thrive, have fun and happy hopping. Bye.